this video, I'd like to help you to start overcoming auditory triggers for anxiety. In one of my previous videos, I spoke about a visual trigger. I will post it again below for you to have a look at. But this video is specifically about auditory triggers. This exercise is going to take some self-reflection. So I'd like you to choose either morning or evening where you're going to make time for yourself to do this exercise because you need to sit down and really think and think back into the past. So sit down with a piece of paper and a pen and then I'd like you to write down two or three sentences of your personal auditory triggers. What do I mean by auditory trigger? Firstly, did you know that self-talk is an auditory process? Because you hear your own words in your head. So I want you to really think in a situation just before that panic attack wants to dawn on you, just before the anxiety hits. What are you telling yourself in that moment? It might be, oh my gosh, I can't afford to have a panic attack right now. Or I can't do this. Or, I need to get out of here. What are the th trigger just before that anxiety hits? So notice that and write it down. Then, on the other hand, I'd like you to think about two or three sentences, positive sentences, of something that someone told you in the past. Where someone congratulated you on a project well done or where you have been handed a certain achievement or a heartfelt gratitude. Think of something very positive that someone once told you. Two or three things and write it down. Then I'd like you to do the following. And it's, it's a bit different, a bit weird. When you read your negative triggers, I want you to close your eyes and say the sentence to yourself. Then I'd like you to notice internally, do you hear the words mostly to the left side or mostly to the right? Do this a few times until you can notice whether you hear it mostly on the left side or the right. If you, however, hear it right in the middle, I want you to see which side you can move it effortlessly to. Does it move easier to the left or easier to the right? Maybe there's one side it doesn't want to go. So notice which one it does go to. Good. Once you've noticed which side it's on, make a note of it. Then I'd like you to go to your positive sentences. Closing your eyes, I want you to go back to that specific event and hear the person saying those positive words to you. Again, notice where do you hear it in your mind? More to the left or more to the right? So it's going to take some time to do this and to notice is it on the left or the right? Once you've determined that, I'd like you to do the following. I want to, you to go back to your negative trigger. Again, if you hear it, for example, on the left, closing your eyes, saying, repeating that sentence to yourself, hearing it more to the left, I want you to consciously move those words to the right or to the opposite side and notice what happens. Either the words disappears, either it gets a bit distorted or it changes completely to something else. So a very powerful technique to notice where do I hear internally my positive thinking and my negative thinking. And whenever you have a auditory trigger, I want you to in that moment shift it to the other side. Do this, see if it works for you, Different things works for different people. There's much more to anxiety to, than just this. I go through a very intense process with a client 
to get rid of deeper triggers and beliefs um, that goes to the root of their anxiety. But this is a quite nice technique that you can use in the moment. If this was helpful to you, I'd like you to share it to other people that might benefit. And also remember to subscribe to this channel so that you can get more updates on tools and techniques on how to rewire your brain.